What can I do for you? I need to find out about bones. Jelly! Yes, please. Oh, sorry, it's not for eating just yet. Do you see how wobbly my jelly teddy is? Well, without your bones, you'd be all wobbly too. I get it. So our bones keep us strong and solid. Correct. And without our bones, we wouldn't be able to move either. Isn't that right, Mr. Skelly? Oh, it is to be sure, Auntie B. Skelly. So what else do bones do, Auntie B? Protection! Your bones protect your body from harm, just like my body armour. But why would I need protection? Well, leave it to me. I'm Auntie B. This is my body tablet. It lets us see what's happening inside your body. Wow, I can see my bones. Those fellas there at the front are called your ribs. They look like a cage. Well, they're actually called your rib cage. That's because there are some very precious things behind them that need protecting. Those two pink things there are your lungs. And right in there is your heart. Oh yeah, I can see it beating. Your rib cage keeps your heart and lungs safe. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant, brilliant body fact. fact. Brilliant body fact. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Did you know children have more bones than adults? Kids have about 270 bones, but some of these bones join together as you grow, so that when you reach adulthood, you only have 206. Brilliant body fat! Yeah! Now it's time for jelly. Jelly! Brilliant! Yes. Oh, I almost forgot. Without the bones in your hands, you wouldn't be able to pick things up. And to be, I need to know about muscles. Catch. Well done, that's 20. Sorry? You used 20 muscles to catch that apple. Thanks, 20 muscles. And you're using 10 to bite it and chew it. We have muscles in our face. I had no idea. What are muscles anyway? Oh, well, muscles are stretchy parts inside you that help your body move and most of them are connected to bones. Look at Mr Skelly over there. He's missing his muscles and he's not going anywhere, is he? I wish I could look inside me and see my muscles. Well, leave it to me. I'm Auntie B. Wow, look at all those muscles. There are so many. There sure are. There's your pectoral muscles there in your chest and there's your abdominal muscles in your tummy. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant, brilliant body, body fact. Brilliant body fact. Yeah! Did you know you've about 650 muscles in your body and two of the strongest you sit on every day? <coughs> They're your bum muscles or to give them their official name, your Gluteus Maximus. Brilliant body fat. Nice skipping, Auntie B. Thanks, Cormac, but I think that this rope is a bit too long. Now let me guess, you've got a question. Yep, a really important one. Where do farts come from? Well, I think we all know the answer to that one, Cormac. No, I mean, where are farts made? Oh, well, farts, or flatulence, to give them their proper name, come from a part of the body called the digestive system. Would you like to see it? Would I like to see my digestive system? Absolutely. I can show you with my body scanner. Your digestive system takes your food on a journey right through your body. When you swallow food, it goes into a long tube and into your stomach. 
inside the stomach, the food gets all mushed up. Hang on. Uh. Auntie P. Excuse me. Burps are made from gas escaping from the stomach. Uh. Good man. Better out than in. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant body fact. Brilliant. Did you know that your stomach can stretch depending on how much food is in it? And some stomachs can even get as big as this. Brilliant body fat! Auntie B, I need to know about we. Oh, you need to go for a wee. Be my guest, there's a toilet out the back. Don't forget to flush, please. No, I don't need to go for a wee. I need to know about wee. Oh, I see. Well, then you need to meet a friend of mine. Ah, meet the kidney. What's a kidney, Auntie B? He's the fella that makes your wee, or urine, to give it its proper name. And you have two of them. Would you like to take a look at your kidneys? Oui, oui. Oui is French for yes. <laughs> well then, leave it to me. I'm Auntie Oui. Uh, I mean, Auntie B. This is my body tablet. It lets us see what's happening inside your body. There they are, right down there. They're your kidneys. Hi, kidneys. So what do they do, Auntie B? They clean your blood. My blood is dirty. No, but as it travels around your body, your blood collects stuff your body doesn't need and brings it to your kidneys for cleaning. So my kidneys are like blood cleaners. More like blood strainers. I'll show you. Let's pretend this glass of orange juice is your blood. Yes, I love orange juice. I hope it doesn't have any bits in it though. I really don't like bits. Um, I'm afraid it does but I can get rid of them just like the way your kidneys can get rid of stuff in your blood. The bits are getting trapped in the sieve. Correct. And that's what happens in your kidneys as well. They strain out the stuff that your body doesn't need. Your kidneys take water out of your blood as well. And then the water carries all the bits away from the kidneys and out of the body as we. I get it. So we is made up of water and bits your body doesn't need. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant, brilliant body, body fact. Brilliant body fact. Yeah! Did you know that your kidneys are really busy? Every day they filter enough blood to fill this bin and make enough wee to fill this bottle. <laughs> Brilliant body fat. Yeah! Auntie B, all this talk about wee has made me actually want to go to the toilet. Like I said, don't forget to flush. The Body Brothers! Auntie B, we're going to do a dance about hair. Can you tell me about my hair? Well, it's lucky you called in when I was watering my plants. What do you mean? Because your hair is a bit like this plant here. No, it is not. Let me show you what I mean. Look at this plant. The leaves are kind of like your hair. And these are the roots. You usually can't see them because they're buried under the soil. And guess what? My hair has roots too. Correct! Now, where did I leave? Ah. Here it is. What is that, Auntie B? This is a model of what your hair looks like, but much, much bigger than the real thing, obviously. See how the hair has a root, just like my plants? Oh yeah, there it is. The roots of our hair are under our skin in these little tubes. They're called follicles. This is where your hair grows from. Now, I think it's time to look at your hair up close with my microscope. 
That is amazing, Auntie B. It looks like a forest in there. It sure does. A hairy forest. Do you see the way the hair is growing up through the skin? Oh, yeah. Wait, I've got a question. Fire ahead. My hair is straight, but my cousin Carly has curly hair. Yeehaw! How does that happen? Well, it's down to the shape of the tubes. The follicles. That's right. The shape of the follicles the hair grows out of. You're... Oh, ha Yours are round like this, but his are oval shaped like that. And that's why his hair is curly. Yeehaw! But there are some parts of the body where no one ever has any hair. Even grown ups? Yep. Can you guess where they are? Yeah. Here! That's right. There's no hair on the palms of your hands or the soles of your feet. There's no hair on your eyelids. And there's no hair here. Our lips. Yep. No hair here. <laughs> the Body Brothers! What are you doing, Auntie B? Oh, I'm taking care of my plants. Trowel, please. What can I do for you? I need to know about... Aha, I see you need to know about your eyes. <laughs> Uh, your ears? Oh, your circulatory system. No, Auntie B. I'm only pulling your leg. It's your teeth. Yes. This is my tooth collection. Everything you need to know about teeth is in this box. This is the part that you brush with your toothbrush and toothpaste. It's called the crown. Just like this one. It's the same word, but a different type of crown. Oh. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant body fact. Brilliant body fact. Did you know the crown of your tooth is covered in something called enamel? Enamel's job is to protect your teeth and it's the hardest part of your body. Even harder than your bones. Brilliant body fat. Yeah! What's this part, Auntie B? That's the root. You usually can't see it because it's hiding in your gum, holding the tooth firmly in place. Just like the roots of my plant. So the roots of a plant are under the soil and the roots of a tooth are under the gums. Correct! Now, how many teeth do you have? I'm not sure. Oh, 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 oh. 32. Huh? You have 32 teeth. Oh. And they all come in different shapes and sizes. See if you can guess what they do. Incisors. Biting. Correct. Molars. Uh, chewing, because it's flat on top. Correct! Canines. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, they're for tearing up food. And every tooth has a special place to live. Incisors here at the front, canines next to them, and around the back here, molars. Ah, I see. Uh, Auntie B, could I uh, borrow this tooth? I suppose so. What for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, because I want to, you know, trick the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> the Body Brothers! Hey, Aunt B. What's up? Oh, it's Tony here. He's having terrible trouble with his bits. What can I do for you? I need to know about breathing. Lungs! Excuse me? Lungs! Sorry, Tony. Oh. Sorry, Tony. I'll fix that later. If you want to know about breathing, you need to know about these fellas, your lungs. Would you like to take a look at your lungs? Oh, yes, I would, please. Well, then leave it to me. I'm Auntie B. <coughs> this is my body tablet. It lets us see what's happening inside your body. Hey, there's my lungs. What do they do, Auntie B? Your lungs take in the air you breathe so your body can use it to make energy. And I can show you how with my body scanner. 
When you breathe in, the air travels down this pipe and into your lungs. The air has a gas called oxygen in it and your lungs take oxygen out of the air and pass it into your blood. Then your blood carries it all around your body. Oxygen! That's what helps make the energy our body needs to do all the things it needs to do! Correct! I see why lungs are really important, Auntie V. Yes, and that's not all. When you breathe out, your lungs get rid of a gas that your body doesn't need. It's called carbon dioxide. I get it! So breathing is all about oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. Correct again. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant, brilliant body, body fact. Brilliant body fact. Yeah! Did you know that most of the time you don't even know you're breathing? It happens without you even thinking about it while you're awake and while you're asleep. You breathe in and out over 20,000 times every day. That's enough air to fill a van. Brilliant body fast. Nice balloon, Cormac. Thanks, Auntie B. Keen and me are using it for a heart dance. What can you tell me about the heart? Well, first of all, the heart doesn't look like that. Oh, really? Yep. Sorry, Tony, I need this. Now this is what your heart looks like. Catch! But this doesn't look a bit like my balloon. Exactly! Hearts aren't really that shape. It's just the way we draw them. Now, it may not be pretty, but the heart is the hardest working muscle in the body. My heart is a muscle? I did not know that. How does it work? Well, leave it to me. I'm Auntie B. This is my body tablet. It lets us see what's happening inside your body. But look, it's my heart. And it's squeezing in and out. Yep, that, my friend, is your heart beating. But why does my heart beat? Your heart beats because it's pumping blood around your body. And I can show you with my body scanner. Your heart is a muscle that pumps blood all around your body, from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. So my heart is a muscle that pumps? Correct! You mean like a balloon pump? Kind of. Or one of these. Ah, water soaker! Kill me, love playing with those. Hey, Cormac, you know the way you pump water out of the water soaker and soak key in? Yeah, I'm really good at that. Well, your heart is doing that all the time. Except it's not pumping water, it's pumping blood. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant, brilliant body, body fact. Brilliant body fact. Yeah! Did you know scientists have discovered that laughter can make your heart beat faster, making it stronger <laughs> and more healthy? So laughing is good for the heart. <laughs> Brilliant body fat. <laughs> what are you doing, Gormog? I'm making you laugh. You know it's good for your heart. I do love a good laugh. <laughs> and I love my heart. My real heart. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs>